All right, now, um, what we have here is um, the area, which is in blue, is between the home that we have rented Across to San Marino, and down this one is down to uh, the solar eclipse of uh, 21st of December, no, 25th of January, 1944. So, what I did uh, in this particular series, but we get a number we can read right, so the uh, area is 3413. So I'll go into the uh, so what you do is you just take an area this is uh, Discover Australia so I'll just show you what this won't do goes to Turin you can go down to Freiburg and then go back up to uh, Via D and that's going to give you a number now, in this other program, what this will give you, I will do it now, zoom in, so we're going to measure these two numbers here. Now, this is the uh, museum where everything on the terrain is uh, proud, which of course I'm going to go to, and here's San Marino. This is what we got on Google Earth. Right? But then we go go down to where the solar eclipse occurred, and it's a distance of uh, three zero four three kilometers and three four three nine square miles. So you can then change that to oh, that was that rig rather one three two eight, and then you can go up to nautical. One zero zero one. Right. So we can zoom out and look at that to see what it looks like. Most of the time. So what I was doing there. We can measure for these points here, which is the Pacific. I'll point them out later on, what they all are. And between any of these points, you can measure, and it'll give you an area underneath. And then we'll go to a bitmap, which is the ones I've already saved. Uh, so, yeah. so it's 2023. Two six eight three six nine four five. What we have in the PowerPoint we have a distance here to Egypt to Turin and San Marino. And the area is 341397. Now, my blood is 3, chromosome 3, chromosome 4, and chromosome 13, and there's 97. Well, let's call it 96, I think that's near enough. Eh? Right. See, I've done here, 
is replacing, which is shown in the PowerPoint, we'll get to in a minute, but you see it's 96 replacements. So I copied that. And then we take it over to the PowerPoint. Okay, so what we're dealing with is this. These are the coordinates of the house we've rented. Our stop at the Turin Museum and the solar eclipse of January 25th, 1944. Now, incidentally, there are 16 annual eclipses by a certain date and 69 by May the 10th, 2013. In other words, these are two significant dates. However, between the 8888.8 mile solar eclipse, January 25th, 1944, to my rebirth location, then we count the annular total solar eclipses, and there are 11 to May, there are 11 to May 10th, 2013, which is a lunation. However, starting at the first of the 11, May the 9th, 1948, to May the 10th, 1948, is 3391 weeks. And that number is the moon, the lunation. Okay. So then I'll just jump in and prove it with the numbers. Now, I haven't done how old I was on that day, or rather between those two dates. I don't have worked out how many years there is yet. So that is something I would explore. So I did it. 4.287 years is a designated day, time appointed, fixed beforehand. Now, that is what it is. The moon is talking to you. So, we have the 25th of January 1944, solar eclipse, and May the 9th, 1948 which is 223 weeks and 5 days, or 1566 days. So between there and there, it's 60.00 something years. Between there and there, it is 4287. Now the 23rd of April, 1966 was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. And that's when I married on. Now, on this date here, April 3rd, 2013, this is when the um, goons of Francis burst into the uh, most holy room on earth where the Pope is and he's three disciples. The distance to Jupiter was 5.55 astronomical units. Now, in Lucifer's letters to me, from the pontiff's own computer, admits he arrested the pontifical household for proclaiming Jesus is blah, blah, blah. Back. The distance to Saturn is 8.88 astronomical units. Now, this moron has absolutely no idea what he's talking about or what he's dealing with. He's a complete and utter thug. So we have a date when Europe's top academic, Pope Benedict XVI, a professor of theology, was told by a Lucifer Christ denying imposter heretic that should be burned at the stake that Benedict XVI was wrong. That was April the 3rd, 2013. The universities, or the anniversary rather, of my crucifixion in 33 AD is 1980 years and 70 years from my conception in 1943. There's your Daniel prophecy. Now, I was going to leave it there, but I've overwritten. And this is of an old PowerPoint that I did, so because I've used up the first 14 slides, uh, I'll just carry on with this now as a reminder for those who have seen it. So the Catholic Church outsmarted the Freemasons, but the Freemasons started to infiltrate using money as a leverage. 
So I come along with Vatican III, and we print our own money out of the churches and so on. Each diocese has a request, goes to the Vatican, the Pope gives it to go ahead, and they print the money for the area, for development, food, lodging, education. This is very interesting. Uh, you've got the number 85.55. Well, 855 is how many minutes? Sunrise to sunset, 0.5 of a second. On uh, June the 17th, 2 BC, when I was born, and the 11th of January, 1944, in Sydney, when I got married. So we got Bethlehem, same number. Now, my weight on all of the planets, and my official weight is 222 pounds. I might need a bag of chips now and then to maintain it. Out to Saturn is 7353 pounds, and the area of the Shroud of Turin in square inches. The Sun at 0.98, Mercury at 67, Venus at 108. Mars at 7.1, Jupiter at 4.32, Saturn at 8.15, total 16.11, 16.11 Bible, the Venus 108 is a total versus for the word ghost, and that's the wife. That's the 11th of January 944. So add these three up independently, and you get that date, time, in astronomical units, you can measure at the speed of light, And then back in time at the speed of light to uh, June the 17th, 2 BC. 